made possible by 343. Hey, what's going on everyone? Nathan 343 here and we have another package that's not visible right now, but it is on the floor because it is a pretty good sized package that won't fit up here so that I can take it out of the box for y'all. But as you all can see here in the thumbnail, it is a flight case for our new Super Beam 230s. And uh, I want to give Ava a big shout out for helping me get this product here and everything to show you guys. Hopefully it's their new and updated and improved flight case box. Uh, we'll find out once we get it open. So let's dive into the box here and see what's in it. Hopefully it's their new and updated flight case, but if not, it'll be okay. I know they've got some newer design flight cases that have their logo and stuff on it. Although, they got some tape there on the box. This is kind of one of those homemade boxes in order to make it fit. Looks like we got the bottom of the flight case here. So, just flip it upside down here and take the box off of it. Of course, it does come with these wheel holders here, so you can stack these. I will have to see if uh, maybe the flight case for the lights will fit on there. But look at that. It's got a shed's name on it. Very cool. I don't think it's their new, new, new one, but um, they do have uh, some different, different ones. But this works as long as it fits the two moving heads I have in it. That works. So we're going to open these up. Look inside and see what we have. So right off the bat, we got some bubble wrap. And we got wheels that are very, 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 um, very nice. They got locking, they're the nice locking ones. Then they unlock. They are a ball bearing type wheel. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to put this box back together because with the wheels, it looks like some of this has, for some reason, been knocked over. Like the inside of this is kind of messed up. Okay, so we've had a little bit of shipping damage, I believe, but this is kind of what I want to show to you. I'm pretty sure this didn't leave uh, the shed's warehouse. Looking pretty like sure this. this looks. So I'm going to take this piece of foam out of here and let you see that there is a gap and this sidewall is loose like the nails have came out and um, I mean I'm sure a guy could fix that but in order to do it you've got to take all this padding stuff you got to take all this stuff loose pull that piece out screw it back together put it all back in there because it slid over it probably was put in with little brad nails what I did was I took a piece of foam off of one of the lights that I have gotten uh, from sheds and I cut it just to be exact fit of this. So what I do is I just set it down in there. Just like so. Put it on the wrong side. Basically like this. There we go. And it fits probably cut one just another piece and make it a little bit bigger that way it fits in there nice and snugly and it will keep stuff from coming out the bottom I'll probably eventually glue that down in there maybe with some hot glue maybe even paint it black but I took something that was broken from transit probably UPS throwing stuff around because the, the box did have a hole in the side of it to fixing it and not getting upset the rest of the box is in good shape. No damage there. Uh, there was a small dent in the top of the lid uh, somewhere, I noticed. I don't remember where. It was ever so slightly. Again, UPS throwing stuff around. I literally have seen postal service places throwing your packages around. Uh, I actually do mowing for a postal service here in town, and I go into the back sometimes and talk to the people uh, about the, the yard and stuff. and. 
I see them sorting packages and they're literally throwing them into crates. So don't tell me your packages don't get thrown because I've seen it firsthand. But other than that, everything is fine. I have test fitted one of the moving heads. They do fit, although it doesn't fit snugly. It fits kind of mm, loose Nicely. shit. It does so run up. Uh, I remember the last time I got a flight case from these people, uh, <laughs> had problems with the uh, the butterfly locks lining up. That was also due to shipping. But uh, hey, everything worked works good. But uh, let's go ahead and show you how to put a moving head in here. Two sixties. These are the super beams. What you want to do is you see this here and this here. This is where your side pieces here go in. They go in like that. And then you want to turn by the back and then the front and then just drop it down in there. Now I set mine clear to the front, to where the front of the head, and there's a little gap back here, probably, I don't know, inch, inch and a quarter maybe. So I'm going to probably get a piece of foam, figure out where that's at, and glue it to the inside of this wall. I will paint it black so that it, you know, Basically what I can do is I can get, you know, some foam here that came from another light that you may or may not have seen on the channel. I can pull this, pull this stuff off, or cut it off, put it down in there, super hot glue it to the inside, paint it black, or paint it black before I put it in there, glue it, and it will help stabilize the system. This piece is for to put the power cords for these in and the clamps. Now will the lid shut with it in there? Yes, the lid will shut with it in there. I'll have to go get some tools to put the wheels on. Again, we get four wheels, two locking, two non-locking. So that's awesome. We'll put the two lockings together. We'll get the other moving head in here. We'll get all that put in. And I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. All right, guys. As you can see, this case is now officially DJ Fire branded. <laughs> I put stickers on all my flight cases. Here's my other flight case I have that I, it's just a cable bin, cables and all that stuff. Most of all my stuff has DJ Fire stickers on it. Just so if something ever gets left, it's branded. I think everyone does that to their stuff. And of course, I'm going to get something to put on here to put what's in this flight case in case I get other flight cases for other moving heads. I don't have to open the lid up to find out what's in there. I'll probably put Super Beam uh, 237Rs in there. Or underneath that, I'll just get some like someone to cut me some decal or something to stick on there. But they fit really good. Like I said, they it's it's a nice case. Everything fits in there easily. Uh, we will be using these lights, um, uh, possibly here in the later part or months or later parts of August and September and October. Probably, um, <clears throat> I've got some gigs coming up uh, that are small gigs that are probably these won't be used at. But uh, yeah, I'm going to probably uh, do some cool stuff with them uh, here in the future. So stay tuned, and we'll be showing the uh, you know the flight case going around and you know showing how easy it is to roll. And you'll see that in the gig logs on the DJ Fire channel. Uh, but again. They fit in there really nice. It's a really nice case. I don't have to worry about, you know, where's my 7Rs? They're right here. They're protected. Uh, they fit in there real good. I do have some foam down in there to help. Uh, and I do have some foam down in there to help hold uh, them a little bit better. Of course, all the cables, all the clamps, all that stuff is down in there. Even put the... Uh, User manual, in case for some other reason something happens and need to look up at D, uh, DMX control on it or need to figure out how to do something. Always have a deal. I wish this had like pockets or something in here, sheds. It'd be worth putting a pocket in here so you can put like books or whatever. Uh, but you can see, I know it was kind of hard to see in my other parts, but that's where that's all separated there. Uh, in order to fix it, I'm going to have to take this whole thing apart and I'm just really not in the mood to do that. So it will work for now. Um... Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's not Shed's fault. That's more than likely uh, shipping. Uh, this thing came all the way from California. And uh, like I said, the box wasn't in good shape. 
and uh, wasn't, you know, I've, I've only had a few packages show up UPS that were damaged. Uh, mostly the bigger packages, little packages don't seem to have any problems. My trussing packages, uh, when they came, they had dents in the trussing from the box being thrown and all that. So, so definitely wasn't Shed's fault. Yours may show up with no problems, just depending on, you know, if it shows up and it's broke, definitely get with them. I'm sure they'll help you get it fixed. Um, I don't hate Shed's. I know this is probably not their fault. So yeah, make sure you guys check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Link in the description. Uh, the new flight cases are only being shipped for two of the new moving heads. Uh, the, the big giant 7Rs and the 19 by 15, I think, wash moving heads. I think they're shipping the new ones out for that, but they're still in the process of making the new ones. Uh, they have like the um, carbon fiber look and the, the colored logo. Uh, I think that's all going uh, being made for the new stuff. So as of now, they're sending these out uh, unless you're ordering the older 7Rs, which are the bigger ones or the other uh, lights. So definitely, uh, definitely check them out. Now, when you buy your lights, uh, on the on the deal there where you click, you can click when you order these, you can order these with the flight case. Uh, so make sure you, if you just need the moving heads, you can order just the moving heads if you want to buy the flight case. Um, I don't know if it comes like this with the moving heads in the flight case or if they come in separate boxes and in the flight case. I don't know how all that works, but you can order this all together to where you don't have to, you know, you can buy the moving heads and the flight case. Or if you want to buy four moving heads and two flight cases. You can do that too. So check them out. Link in the description. Check out all the other shed videos we have here on the channel. There is a playlist of all the shed stuff we have uh, checked out uh, and reviewed. All of it is still working to its fullest. Never had a single problem with it. Uh, no bulbs are burning out. No LEDs are quitting. No, no motors. I mean, everything's working just fine. So check them out and you know where to check them out. Sheds.com. You can make any stage the big stage. Right